Welcome to 6.9's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students work on solving multi-step multiplication and division, addition and subtraction problems. So they had to basically look at the problem, decide what operation they needed, and think about how many steps it would require to find the solution. Example number one says Dalton went shopping and purchased two shirts for $20 each. The pair of socks he purchased were one-fifth the cost of one shirt. How much did Dalton spend? As I'm really reading this problem, I heard a couple of important pieces of information. I know that Dalton bought two shirts for $20 each. The socks that he purchased were one-fifth the cost of the shirt, which tells me immediately that I don't know the price of the uh, socks yet, so I'm going to need to figure that out. I'm going to start with what I do know first for my very first step. I know there are two shirts for $20 each, so I'm going to take $20 times 2, which is going to give me $40. Now, I need to go ahead and take a second and think about how I can figure out the price of the socks. I know that the socks that he purchased were one-fifth the cost of a shirt. So I know I have one-fifth of 20. Now in fifth grade, we know that of is just another keyword for multiplication. So I'm going to change this to a multiplication sign. And I'm going to change my 20 into a fraction by making it 20 over 1. I have 1 times 20, which is 20, and 5 times 1, which is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So I know that the socks cost $4. I need to use this information from over here and add it with my $40. So that means I'm going to take my $40 plus $4, which means that Dalton spent a total of $44. Example 2 says Rachel is putting video games on shelves. She puts 15 video games on 6 shelves and 10 on the last 2 shelves. How many video games did Rachel put on the shelves? Alright, when I look at this problem, I know that I've got 15 video games on my 6 shelves. So I'm going to start off with that first. I'm going to take 15 times 6. Now I also know from the problem that I've got 10 on the last two shelves. So I'm going to write down 10 times my two shelves. Now very quickly when I look at this problem, I know that 10 times 2 is 20. 15 times 6 isn't quite as fast, but I know 5 times 6 is going to be 30. I know 1 times 6 is 6 plus 3 more is 9 for an answer of 90. Now I need to think about is how many video games Rachel put on the shelves. When I look at this, I need to take my 90 plus my 20. When I add 90 plus 20, I'm going to get 110. Now, the important thing to think about here is what is my label going to be? So I've got 110. Some students just automatically go to the last word and say 110 shelves. Well, in this case, we need to reread the question. It says how many video games did Rachel put on the shelves? So I would need to write 110 video games. If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure that you see your math teacher.